Hey everybody, it is 412 Mason Gaming TV back here with another video. And today I wanted to showcase this build that I have for Amara the Siren. Because I literally don't think there's, there's a way to top this. She's absolutely unstoppable. And I'm just going to show you how to do it. So basically, you're going to put a shitload of points into the green tree. The green tree is amazing, okay? Here's why. It gives you ridiculous melee melee range at that i didn't even realize that it did that there it gives you this melee override so you can lunge at people and melee them even harder more damage and then you get this this right here which is called guardian angel which will revive you if you go down and it'll cool down every two minutes so as long as you're not going down super often which you probably won't be you're good um the action skill actually doesn't matter too much i've been actually playing around with it and and just mix matching all these on the side so don't worry about that too much focus more on the skills themselves uh make sure you definitely get this one right here this is important in this build you need to get this more than anything this needs maxed out if you could find a class mod with this to get more points in it that'd be even better but this is what's going to be doing a lot of your damage um, in this build and then I have a couple points in this as well in the uh, fist of the elements tree just for extra elemental damage which will help you tons and I mean tons and a little extra melee damage as well right here so let me just show you what this build is capable of so first of all you're gonna want a good shotgun I obviously have a great one. This is my favorite shotgun right now. It's not the best one in the game, I don't think, but it's still pretty good. And obviously, I have even more up close to personal SMGs. And then I have this shield, but this, this shield doesn't matter that much. Let's, let's focus on the damage output that I'm about to do. So watch this. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. So this obviously does not just work on the smaller enemies. I'd be, I'd be taking down the big ones too in a very similar fashion. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get as close as possible and pop a shotgun in their face or something else if you have another gun that you would want to use. But I think the shotgun works best with this build. And then if the shotgun shot does not kill them on the first hit, immediately go for the melee. Immediately. And I promise you, you're going to kill everything. Uh, you can leave the video now. I'm going to I'm gonna just continue killing shit just to showcase more of what this is capable of. But I basically got everything I wanted to say down. So I hope you guys like this build. If you want to, you can rewind a little bit, go back to my skill tree and really look more at what i got because there's probably a couple things i forgot to touch on but i just wanted to make this a quick video because i hate when videos like this are super long and people just explain shit a little too much so i tried to keep it real short and sweet and simple so yeah now just enjoy me running through probably like five minutes of this game as i absolutely just trash everything in my way and i'll, I'll truly showcase this uh this build for you guys Landed Reese. Oh, that actually worked. I mean, of oh yeah, I'm on true ball hunter mode. And, uh, and no death I've been uh, in sight. I've been running through it, uh, and man, I just what's a death sphere? I'll just I'll wait. I'll wait. You guys, intel. you guys, go ahead and interrupt the fuck out of me. It's not like I'm trying to talk or anything. You know what I mean? Fuck my video. You know? Tell your story. No, I'm kidding. Shut the fuck up. Like I was, I don't even remember what I was saying. Oh yeah. I was playing through True Bow Hunter mode and I just realized like as I was doing it like this build is ridiculous man. I am unstoppable. Completely and utterly. Everything I run into just gets eviscerated. Now my weapons do have a little bit uh of a part in that, but I gotta tell you man, it's 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 mostly the build that I have on this on my skill trees. Because I've, I've tried other builds with Amara, and none of them 
are nearly as powerful as this one. This one is just broken. I mean, look at this. That wasn't even the blitz. I don't even have to get the powerful melee attack, and I still one-shot them with it. Fucking ridiculous, bro. I, I'm not even I'm not even level 50 yet. I'm a couple levels off, as you can see, and it doesn't even matter. It literally doesn't even matter. I can just I could probably put those last couple points into anything, and it's not going to change this build whatsoever. It's already basically done. Look at that, dude. I really want them to throw some other enemies at me so that I can really show you. But the uh, the elemental damage boosts that you're gonna get are really, really gonna help you even more. Because if you don't kill them in the, the one, two, eight combo that I got going here, it will probably kill them with the uh, elemental effect. Like they'll either burn or corrode or whatever. So you really just, you just, your DPS is absolutely fucking retarded with this as long as you stay close to your enemies. And like I said, if somehow something bad happens and you get into a rough little spot, you have insta revive. So you're literally just this unfucking stoppable killing machine. How are they? How do the melee attacks not hitting that guy right there? And that is my point exactly right there. They started, they had me cornered. I was completely screwed. And I just, I self revived. And I immediately fucked their shit up as soon as I got back up. That is exactly what I'm talking about. As soon as you thought I was about to go down, I literally just plowed right through the opposition. There was no, there was no contest. Those guys couldn't even. You see that? That damage? 11k. I haven't even seen a k yet in this game. My only, the only thing I have to say about this build is if whatever you're fighting is not dead yet, you did not punch it enough times. Making it so hard for me to hit his crit. There we go. That'll do it. That's probably trash. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's the that's the build, guys. I hope you like it. I hope you have a lot of fun with the up-close-and-personal, fast-paced gameplay. 
And I hope you guys kill everything in your path and have, yeah, a lot of fun. Peace out.